Hey everybody, Jason here with GDT Basics. Today on the video question line, we're going to be covering a topic um, from a student's question on virtual condition and tolerance zones. Today's question is from the student, is the virtual condition the same as the tolerance zone? So we have this simple example. Um, in fact, this was the image the question originated from. Um, so is the virtual condition of this feature of size the same as its tolerance zone? Now there's a couple things going on here um, and we're gonna break this down, uh, break this example down into a few different aspects here. So what we have right now is a size dimension, right? So we know the size or the diameter of this is held to two limits. Those limits being 10 and 9.8. So we have two limits defining the limits of size. The MMC limit or the maximum material condition is 10 and the LMC limit or the least material condition is 9.8. So we have two limits of size um, and, and that can be seen as a tolerance in and of itself, right? So we have a, a maximum limit and a minimum limit. We also have this feature control frame here controlling straightness. Now this feature control frame is attached to the size dimension. So we know we're controlling the derived median line of the cylinder. So let's show what that means here. If we have the derived median line represented by this bowed red line here, and our tolerance zone is sized with a diameter of 0.2, right? That's a diametric value. This derived median line has to fall inside that tolerance zone in order to pass this straightness spec. And we also have to make sure any two point measurement of this feature is inside our two limits of size, right? And since we're using straightness on a feature of size, we're overriding rule number one. So we no longer have to check that envelope according to rule number one. We do control form using straightness and this tolerance zone here. But what we're talking about here with virtual condition, virtual condition is um, a calculation we can do to come up with an envelope that creates worst case scenario, right? So the worst case scenario, if we take in to account geometric tolerances as well as size tolerances, that gives us our virtual condition. So virtual condition in this case is gonna be our MMC size plus any geometric tolerance we get. So our virtual condition is gonna be 10, right? Because we identified the 10 as our maximum material condition plus 0.2 is our geometric tolerance. It's just a form tolerance. So if there's any positional tolerance there, like in position, when you calculate the virtual condition of a feature of size being controlled with true position or position, we would add that geometric tolerance here as well. But this is just a form control. So the virtual condition of this OD is gonna be 10.2. Now that doesn't mean that any of our size dimensions can measure at 10.2. That's just saying this envelope that's created by virtual condition is our envelope that we can guarantee no element is gonna be outside of, regardless of what happens to the size of this feature or the form error of this feature. When you combine both of those, we can guarantee you'll never have an element outside this virtual condition. But again, you cannot measure diametrically this feature from, from here to here at 10.2. That still must remain within our size tolerances. We're just giving an envelope that we can have a certain level of certainty that we'll never have an element outside of when we combine geometric tolerance as well as size. Our goal is to be your best source for GDT information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand GD&T on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our GD&T community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our GD&T and print reading quizzes, download helpful charts, and access articles written by our training experts.